Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be making a project with our Cricut Maker. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Sorry about bumping that. We're going to do the felt cookie play set. That may be coming a little bit fuzzy, but that's what we're making. So it's going to cut out the box and the cookies. Let me go ahead and get this started. Let me go ahead and get my YouTube so I can see really quick. So some of you guys may be watching this back later, so I just want to make sure you guys know this was alive. So I'm going to go through this step by step, so it's probably going to be a little bit longer. Okay, so I think I've got everything ready to go. Welcome, guys. So we are going to make the... It is the felt cookie play set um, on your Cricut Maker. So let me... So we're going to go ahead and just start walking through the steps. And I'll keep trying to peek back at my YouTube just to make sure if you guys are saying anything. Okay, let's see. Um, hi, Guadalupe. Thank you for being here. So we're going to make that project. So if you want to, while you're here, you can pull up another page. And you can see that I'm making the felt cookie play set. And it's free in projects on Design Space. So let me go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to hit make it. I'm going to go ahead and get my machine turned on here. And since we're going to be using felt it will be using our rotary blade but at first we're actually going to be cutting out acetate and I don't know whether it's going to call for the rotary cutter or the um or the other one so we'll see as it goes along so let me go ahead and get my first piece here so these are the packages that I have from that um mystery box that I got a month or so ago this one has stars and stripes and this one has little dots and stuff like that let me show you the paper that I found. So this box calls for a paper that's like 12 by 24. So what I'm going to actually use is, let me go back over here really quick. Okay. Hi, Amanda. Uh, okay. So, um, no, that's totally fine. I thought you were my sister. So I was, it's funny because her name is Amanda Luna. So no, that's totally fine. Um, the silhouette, you could probably still do this. Um, with bringing in like circles and stuff and creating the cookies and I'm sure there's going to be a, a box design But my sister has a silhouette so we can always figure that out for you and see if we can pull this off So no problem at all. So um, I found just a poster board at Hobby Lobby This is a dollar ninety nine and this is what we're going to use for our box to create our cookie box Because like I said you needed a paper that was 12 by 24 So I couldn't I mean Cricut used to make those paper pads and they don't anymore as far as I know so let's find an acetate that matches that and I'm thinking of going with um we've got the blues in it okay let's see you're welcome Amanda okay let me see let's figure out which one that we want to do we pull these out so like I said this video is going to take time but you guys can always replay it but I wanted to do it from far, st from start to finish so let's see so there's this one and let's see I really like this dots this one right here and then there's also this cute little line so this is going to be our little window that you can see through on the box sorry if I'm going through these fast um, it's kind of hard to see that but this one's got lines so I wonder which one should I do the dots hold on let me back it up here let me grab these two and move the rest of these out of the way let me move these out of the way okay So this is our paper again. So I'm like, should we do the dots? I think the dots are really cute, or the lines. I think we'll do the dots. Okay, so our first thing we're gonna do is cut the acetate. Um, hey D, um, Missouri, that is Missouri Star Quilt Company. So MSQ, that's just short, short for Missouri Star Quilt Company. I need to write that in there so you guys know. But um, I just discovered them, like, I don't know why, how I've not known about that, but it's an awesome place to buy your quilting fabrics or just sewing essentials or whatever you need. Um, but that's where buying some of my templates and stuff, so that way I can bring it into the design space. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut on this first. So that's the first thing that's lined up. Let me move stuff. And I'm going to probably be all over the place, so forgive me. Okay, so I'm going to use, I've already got my 12 by 24 mat here, so I'm just going to use that. And... We did discover on my sister's silhouette that you can use the Cricut mat. So that is awesome if you don't know that you can do that. So we, she did take one of my 12 by 24 mats home and she did use it. 
So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get this acetate on here. And then let's see what blade it tells us to use. I did get that. Let me turn that on. My kids are coming home early because apparently there was a water leak at school. So they'll be walking through the door here pretty soon. So they'll probably be able to help me a little bit too. Okay. So we're going to get our acetate on there. And this is the first time I've cut on acetate. So you're super welcome, Dee. Okay, let me, let's go to continue. And let's see what it tells us to use. And like I said, I am still using, let me go pick acetate. Okay, let me see, hold on, let's see. Where would that be? Other paper. I'm just trying to find the acetate on here. Okay, there it is, so acetate. So, and I think it's just regular acetate for the Cricut brand. So let me just double check that. It is foil acetate, metallic sampler. So we may have to use the foil acetate done. And then we're going to, it tells us to load. So you're going to use a regular blade. But like I said, I use that one for vinyl, my gold one. So I'm going to switch it out with the silver. Get in there. All right, so we're gonna load this in here. Okay, and it's ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my flashing button. So here we go. So hopefully you guys can see this. I might try to drag it down in front of the camera a little bit more so you guys can see it. piled up here on the end so trying to make sure that you guys can see everything but it's just cutting that square but I'm definitely want to scoot it up so you guys can see everything else so as soon as this gets we'll go ahead and scoot it up a little bit there so that way you guys can really see everything okay so I'm gonna go ahead and unload the acetate and let's see here so hopefully you guys can pick this up so I'm just gonna peel this piece off and it looks like it kind of left a little bit here. Oh, that was tape. I guess there was a piece of tape on the back side of this for some weird reason. Oh, okay. I see now. So I guess on the back they have a little clear plastic sheet. I didn't realize that. All right. So hopefully you guys caught that. So this is our little square piece of acetate or a little rectangle there. So now let's go to the next piece. Let's see, what do we have next? So the next piece we have, and I'm just going in order. I could line these up and do all at one time, but um, I'm not gonna do that. So the only thing I did not have prepared was the wipe for the cookie. So let me grab a piece of cardstock. And got it back for my sister. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, so I got the white piece of cardstock for my word cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here. And like I said, this is probably gonna be a mess. Get that on there like that. And let me make sure I change what this is. So let me edit. Wait, done. Foil acetate, let me change. You gotta make sure you change each of these. And this is, let's just say it's a medium cardstock and I'm ready to go with this piece so I'm going in with the cardstock now and we're gonna hit go so we're gonna cut all of our pieces out and then we'll put it together it's pretty cool though too because this is gonna be cutting it cut acetate we're gonna be cutting on um, uh, poster board we're gonna be cutting on felt 
So there's quite a diff there's a bunch of little pieces that we're and we're also gonna be cutting on vinyl, so it's gonna be a lot of different um, pieces of stuff. I'm hoping my volume is all the way up. So this is cutting out the word cookie. This is gonna be the white background that's gonna go underneath. Sorry, I put my fingers right in front of that. Okay, so I'm going to, um, after this, we're going to cut out, I believe, it's probably gonna be the vinyl. Let me see, nope, we're gonna be cutting out our circles. Okay, so let me let this out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this piece. Let's see, let me pull my outer first. Hopefully all of this is in frame here. So there's that and we'll move that out of the way. And let me go ahead and grab my little spatula really quick. Luckily I have all my little tools here, which actually I could probably use. I'm like, where is it? Okay. When you think you're totally prepared, but you're not, where did you find the cookies? The cookies is on design space in the projects. So if you look up, um, I believe it was, it's called Felt Cookies Playset. So if you type in the search bar, Felt Cookies Playset, and it's free. Yes, design space. But I also am looking up ideas too, because I want to try to do some other stuff so you could take basic circles and do this stuff too. If you didn't have for the silhouette, but we are going to figure out how to do it for the silhouette. So here's cookies. And I'm, I kind of want to say, I bet we might be using this piece. I'm going to be careful. I really don't think so, but just in case, we'll keep all these little letters. Let's get them over there. Just in case we need any of them. I'll probably lose them before we get done here. Okay. So the next piece is a felt. So this one should be our round circle cookies. So let me switch mats. So we're gonna switch from this one to the fabric mat. And I'm gonna use my 12 by 12. I'm all out of running out of space. Okay, so we got our fabric mat. Let me get our felt and we need, this is gonna be our cookie dough. This is gonna be our, let me make sure I can see you guys, see what I'm doing. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, these are 33 cents at Hobby Lobby, but you could also use the ones from Walmart. Um, I like the ones from Hobby Lobby because they seem a little bit flatter. Let me make sure which way this was, hold on. I need to do it. I think I need to lay this on here this way. Hold on, maybe I can get the map bigger. It's gonna go down to six, so yeah. So we're gonna put it on here this way. So we're just going to smooth that out and we're going to go ahead. I know you guys probably can't see that. Okay, so I've got my felt all on here. This is the cookie, the, the cookies here. So we're going to go ahead and I need to switch it to my rotary blade as well. So I'm going to go change this to felt. Let me go see felt. Felt. Yeah, that's the only thing you're going to have to remember is make sure you're doing felt. So I'm gonna pick felt, done. And let me switch it to my rotary blade. So I'm gonna pop that in there. I may have to adjust my, wait. Okay, there we go. Now, let me set that in here. Let me go back over here and make sure everything's going good. All right, let me maybe, while we're here, let me just go ahead and adjust my camera to make sure you guys can see everything really quick. Because I could probably adjust this just a little bit. Maybe that's gonna be a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the go button. So I'm gonna hit go. I said the myth to say the load button. Okay, so 
So that is getting ready to go. The next one will be pink, so I'm gonna be ready to go on this one. I don't know why it's not showing, but I think it's gonna be pink. It should be pink felt. So let me go ahead and get that lined up while we're waiting. And for that, so this is just cutting out circles. And then uh, for the pink, we're gonna be using this really pretty glitter. This is gonna be frosting. And let's see. I also, just so you guys know, while that's going, I did pick up some beads. These are 50% off at Hobby Lobby right now. I picked these beads up, and so they were $2 a thing, so that way we could sew these on for the, um, like the little sugar candies on top, the little confetti pieces. So now let's go ahead and back this out. It's like super fast. It really goes quick. So we're going to pull this off so we can still use this. And then here's our circles. You can either use your tweezers or just pluck them off. So there's our circle. So I'm going to set those aside. And now we need our pink piece. Let me go ahead and make sure where that's going to be. And it's the same felt. So we're still rolling ahead. And this is going to be, um, I think I, well, let me see. Eight now, five, eleven. Okay, I could stick it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this one on this way. And this one's got some like glitter on top. It's more of a, almost like got some, so we'll see how this one cuts through. So it's got like a little layer of glue kind of holding it down. So we're going to load it in the mat. Load it in the mat. Load it in the maker. And then we're going to hit go. And then our next piece we're going to cut out is the box. And we're going to need our score tool. So while this is cutting out, I'm going to go find my score tool because I honestly don't know where I stuck that. I wasn't thinking. Okay, we're just gonna skip that box for just a minute and go on to the next felt piece because I've gotta find this core tool in between. So we're gonna pull this one off. And here's our cute little heart and our cute little swirl. And I wanna be careful of this so we don't tear it. So there's our cute little swirl. All right, so let me skip the box and go to the next piece, which this one should be felt as well, so it'll be the brown felt. So that's okay. We're gonna move on to the felt. Let me pull my sticker off the back. That one was a lot more gripped on there than the others. Okay. What I love about these, like this felt lasts forever, and it's 33 cents. So you just can't beat it. All right. Um, and I've got the Cricut felt as well, too. I do like it because it's stiffer. I'll have to show you. Okay, let's see. Yes, it is easy to cut felt with this, uh, with the, um, the, hold on, let me say it. It is Yes, it is super easy to cut it with the air as well. So this is the maker, but you can with the air. All you have to have is uh, you got to put, I believe, bonded fabric on the back. Um, that, that bonding stuff and then use your bonded fabric blade. Okay, so now we're going to hit go on this. Let me make sure I did switch. I did. Now while this is cutting, I'm going to go ahead and peek for that score tool again. I 
cannot believe I lost that store tool and I would have no clue where because I haven't used it yet. Let me double check my bag one more time. It's got to be in my middle cut for me. Maybe by chance it's in here. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's in my drawer. So I got that, so we can go back to that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, <laughs> that it, it, it was Marissa, so thank you for that. It was in the tool compartment. Um, Denise, oh, that's okay. We're just pretty much, I mean, we haven't been, got too far into this. We're making um, felt, a felt cookie project. So it is in design space for free. It's the felt cookie play set. And let's see, better life than everything. That's right. So I am actually making these tonight because my niece, Remy, she's about three, three to four years old. I'm not good with ages. Don't judge me. Um, she has type 1 diabetes. So we're gonna do Halloween a little bit different for her. So I thought, I thought, what if I made her some cute little play toys? Wouldn't that be sweet? Okay, let's see. I have not cut on foam yet, and I almost bought a piece of that today, but I will do that very soon. Have you cut on, on foam yet, Marissa? Okay. So these are gonna be some tiny pieces as well, because these are gonna be chocolate chips, and this is chocolate frosting. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and just cut all my pieces and then we'll do the box piece last just to, we're already there. But I am so glad that you said that, Marissa, because I would, I, I'm telling you, I wouldn't have checked there. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and unload this one. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of dots because we have chocolate chips. So look at how good, I mean, that rotary blade does. So I want to go back to make sure y'all guys can see everything good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tweezers on this one just to make sure everything stays together. I'm going to go ahead and carefully because I'm so worried about tearing these little lines. So there is your chocolate swirl and then let's get all of our little dots. Look how cute those are. They're adorable. Okay. I think this is so fun. This would be so cool to make all the little play food. Okay, my kids are all grown, so they wouldn't care. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, yay, so you're going to open the, so it's still in the box, so you're going to open it this weekend. How exciting, Marissa. Okay, so let me know if you cut from foam, though. Okay, so let's go on to the next piece, which is, this one's going to be iron. All. Let, me go to, let me do the felt pieces first. These all should be felt, and I don't know why. I can't. It's hard when you can't see the picture anymore because it's like, why are these a different color? So I'm gonna, I need a lighter brown. We're gonna do our felt. I think this is another lighter brown, so we'll do this one. So this one's next. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these at the top, the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I hope you guys can see this because I'm going back and forth between YouTube and my thing. All right, let's get this one loaded. So we're still on felt. And so this is going to be some more circles. So this is more cookie. So it's probably, I know what, some of them were like a waffle cookie and stuff. And then we got some more circles and some other colors. So I've got to figure that out. What's the purpose? Okay. So let's hit go. Let's see. Um, 
what glue are you going to use on the felt? Okay, that's what I tried to, de to decide. I have decided to use, um, I'm actually going to uh, stitch it down. So I'm going to use uh, needle and thread, but I'm going to use my sewing machine as well. So I'm going to hand stitch and I'm going to use my sewing machine. And then on top of that, I think I'm going to use my hot glue gun because I've used fabric glue, like that basin glue and all that, and it really is hard to stick to the felt. So, I mean, if you can recommend anything I might have here, let me know before I do. So, I was thinking hot glue. I already have it plugged in. Okay, so here's our other two circles. Let me go back. So, I'll make sure y'all can see. So, we've got our two circles here. Okay. So, we've got our other two circles. Now, we're going to go back over here and I believe we're on two more circles and it looks like it's just a little bit darker than the other cookies so I'm probably gonna go ahead let me see what color this is I think this is the same but I think I'm just gonna use the same color that I did a while ago and this is two of them so let me get my scissors I know I was prepared with those I'm gonna cut off this excess here really quick then we're going to use this. I'm just going to stick with the same color of these because it shows a little bit uh, darker, I believe, but it's okay. Because it's just the cookie. So maybe it's where some's burnt, like, you know, like cooked a little more than others. I'm not too sure what the, I can't see the image anymore. So let me make sure that I'm not going to go over. Nope, that's good. So there we go. I'm just going to load it. I know I do too um yeah so yes I agree with the hot glue because it does like you're supposed to be able to use that on felt and it does not stick so whatsoever so I'm like I really don't understand that that's why I was trying to use that glue in my video the other day that basting glue and um I don't really think it was holding that well so I was gonna try it again I also had let me go grab it Um, all-purpose tacky glue I have thought about trying it but I really just don't you know it's gonna go to a little girl and she's probably gonna rip the heck out of these so I want to make sure it's gonna get a stick so okay let's do this and I have my hot glue plug my hot glue gun plugged in across the room because um, try tonight my computer's trying to do an update because my <laughs> computer's having to be on the charger and so is my phone I was not prepared, but I had to run to town to get all this. Okay, so we're going to do this. This one's going to cut out a, so it's going to be the same color. I'm going to get this on here. But it's going to go ahead and do like the um, scalloped edges. So, here we go. Like load it. And, oops, okay, so I want to make sure it was on there. Okay, so we're going to cut this one out. And then I should have moved these. Let's see, before it cuts, I wonder if I can move this to this one. Let me move these two. Edit. I'm going to move these to the same mat. Oh, I don't know if it'll... No, nope, I've already... I should have did that a while ago. No big deal. So I'll have to cut this twice. So let's see. Because I'll have to... This is like the same color and I was trying to combine the mats, but I think I had to do that before I really got started. So it's fine. So we've only got this one and then one more of the same color. Then we have our pink, what I believe is going to be um, vinyl. And then we have red, and I think that's going to be felt. So we've only got like four more cuts to do. Not too bad. Let's see, do you have... I don't think I have any art glitter glue. I do have, um, let's see. I can't think of the name of it. Oh. I do have glossy accents. I do have glossy accents, and then I do have the E6000. I thought about using E6000. I just don't know about, like, if that would be okay for kids. But I don't have any of the art glitter glue. Oop, okay. Got the machine.
way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. So there's our cute little scalped edges. And our heart with our scalped edges. Hopefully you guys can see that, cute. So now, and then I've got an extra little heart here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and I'll probably, I'm gonna flip it around like this because I've got two more hearts to cut out with the same color. Like I said, I should have combined mats and all that, but I wanted to hurry up and get this video up for you guys. Let me make sure and take this off. There we go. And let me load it. There we go. And then, like I said, after this one, I think we got red felt to cut out. So I can go ahead and line that up and get that ready to go. Okay. And hit go. So I've already got my red lined up for the next one. And then I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the cricket. I mean, the cricket. So this was on, I, I think it might still be going on at Joann's right now. Their accessories and all that's 50% off at Joann's right now. So you would get this whole pack for uh, $4.99, and I believe it has, let me try to read on here. There's two different color swatches here. Let's try to see how many pieces. 10 sheets, 12 by 12. So you got 10 sheets of these, but they're 12 by 12. And I like them, they're a little bit stiffer, but you got purple, red, green, this blue, this pink color, this green, and that gray. And then that one may have came with the black, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this out. So here is our hearts. That one kinda wanted to stick, that's okay. Heart and heart. So let me make sure y'all seen those. Okay, so the hearts. And then now our next piece is that red. I wanna go see what that is. Cause I don't know what, it says it's showing like a square. It shows a circle down here, but then let me click on it. Okay, it's a circle. So it must be some type of frosting or something. So let's get a little piece of red up here in the corner. This is our last piece of felt. Get that in there. Okay. Then we're gonna come back and cut our vinyl. And then the last piece that we have is we got two different pieces of vinyl to cut out. Iron, well, one regular iron vinyl, one iron on vinyl. Let me make sure this is on my right thing. It's on the red. And we're going to hit go. And then I'm going to make sure. Let's see. Um, I need to try a different glue to see what works good. I love hot glue. I do too. Hot glue is my friend too. And I like to buy the hot glue that's on the rope. Let me show you real quick. I showed in the video, but this is like they're not here. But I bought this glue gun a long time ago at Joann's, like 60% off the Allene's one, but I like to buy my glue gun in the rope, because then you don't have to keep reloading it. Um, and you can get that Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Um, I barely discovered that in the floral section a while back, but they also had it back there where the glue guns were. Okay, so here is our circle, red circle, so we got that. So we're done with felt. And let's see, let's go to, I think it's like how duct tape's a man's best friend, right? Okay, let's do regular vinyl. And I'm gonna choose to go with my colors here for the word cookies. I'm gonna use this uh, vinyl that I got from Expressions in my haul that you guys seen. And I almost stuck that on that. We're going to actually stick that on my blue mat. I don't need this whole big thing that I'm just gonna put it all on there. Just so we could I don't have to sit here measure or nothing. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and load that up. Now I'm gonna have to change my blade. So I need to pull out my gold one. Okay, so I need to change my blade to, I don't know where my cap is, so we'll find that in a minute. Change my blade to my gold one because that's the one I use for my vinyl. And then I'm going to, I don't need to mirror this or anything because it's regular vinyl. So we're going to hit 
Oh, I need to change my, I'm sitting here talking about vinyl, I gotta change it. So regular vinyl, just click that, and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna hit that. And then we gotta cut out iron-on vinyl. It's actually supposed to be brown, but I'm gonna do white, because I think it was supposed to be like a, um, a waffle. So it was like a dark brown. But I'm gonna do it like icing, so it's fine. Because my sister, because I'm super sweet, I let her take all my vinyl at home, including my iron-on, so all I have is my grab bag because I let her go home and like cut half the sheet so she could get started. So I let her have some of it. Now my iron on, she was just using it until she purchased her own and she did. It's just I didn't grab it today. So let me see if I can find a regular piece of white. Okay, nope, and it's all iron on, so we probably won't be doing that either. Um, shoot. Let me see, maybe I'll stuff that down in here. I have a little, I don't think that'll be big enough, but we're about to find out. If not, we can do like a pink, nope. Let me see, hold on, let me think it out here. If, oh, it does need to be iron on, what am I thinking? Okay, so I got that. So let's go ahead and release this. Let's go ahead and take this off. And let's see, I'll cut that out in just a second. So let's go ahead and get our iron on here. And remember it goes face down. Okay, so we got that face down. And we're gonna put this in here. And I'm gonna go to my iron on piece. And I'm gonna change my material to iron on. I felt was in the way. Okay, so I'm gonna move, I'm gonna change this to iron on, iron on, and it's regular white. So we're ready to go, I'm gonna hit go. This is gonna cut out our little like checkered signs. And then after this, we're gonna do our box. Then we can start putting all these together. And so I've got a bag of polyfill, so I have a bunch of that. Okay, let's see. Uh, you're super welcome, Melissa. But yes, uh, definitely, because um, I, I used to have a ton of glue sticks and stuff too. But it's like, once your kids like start discovering that, it's like all that stuff kind of disappears. Because I used to have the big thick ones, the long ones, but I can't find any of those. Okay, so, and I didn't reverse this on iron-on because it doesn't matter. It's the same design, so just an FYI on that. Just in case anybody was wondering like, what is she doing? Okay, so, let me go ahead and cover that. Now, here we go. So we need to go ahead and do our box. So here we go. So I'm gonna come back over here and look at this one more time. So this box, we need to cover the paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing just to be safe. But I need to at least cut it 12 by 24 so we can get this. So I need to put in my score tool. And let me change this. This is gonna be poster board. Let me change my poster. Poster, poster poster board okay done and I'm gonna actually put the paper upside down so let me go ahead and put my score tool in that's the weaving tool so I put my score tool on this is the first time I've used this they have these clearance out just in case y'all are wondering these score tools are at Walmart for two dollars guys two bucks so definitely check your Walmarts I've had mine I purchased it a while back but definitely if they didn't I would okay so let's figure out how I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line it up on a corner here. And I'm using my blue mat because the green ones are sticky as heck. So here we go. There we go. All right, wait, no, come off. I need to bring this down. Hold on, I gotta come back up. And I just shoot, <laughs> I just knocked on my chocolate chips in the floor, guys. So you guys are probably only seeing a portion of this, but y'all see it in just a minute. So let me just get this lined up here on my mat. Okay. 
And like I said, I don't think Cricut makes them 12 by 24 pads anymore, so I just got a poster board. So let me go ahead and cut this to size and we'll get it in there. So just be patient with me, ladies. But this would be sweet to even make for somebody for Christmas or a birthday. sure I'm cutting straight here try to do what I can I know I'm not even in frame on the camera but that's okay all right that looks good enough to me now I just got to trim off a little bit more of this good there we go and like I said I put it face down since it's gonna make my score lines so here we go we're ready to go so I'm gonna load this thing in here I want to make sure it's not going to be bumping nothing on this side. So we're going to see how good this score tool works on poster board. Here we go. So I hit go. I can come back over here. Let's see. Um, that's what I'm going to see. I'm kind of curious myself if it's going to score deeper or not. So we're going to find out. That's what I was kind of wondering if using, because this would be like a heavier cardstock, I guess. I was wondering how well that will work. And I really hope I got my score tool down in there far enough. Yes, I did. Um, and like I said, this first time I've used it, but I think it's doing just like it would on paper. But yeah, I was sitting there last night and this morning and I thought, okay, thank God I caught it. Because I thought, I don't have no paper that's like, because you at least had to have 12 by 20, and then it was going to cut the other half of the box, the top of the box, on the same paper. So at least if you had 12 by 20, but, I mean, I don't have that. I'm like, I don't have any paper that's like that. And you really want a thicker cardstock because you need it to hold up your box. So I was, like, really curious about that. I was really confused. So I'm not sure. I'm kind of like, is maybe Cricut back in the works of maybe making a 12 by 12 pad for things like this? I'm not sure, but if I, I was going to go ahead and just take two pieces, I was going to go ahead and take two pieces of um, cardstock together and then have tape on one side and do it like that. So if, if anybody was wondering, you could take two pieces of 12 by 12 together because of where it lands, you'll see where it lands. I think it'll be fine. And it's still scoring right now. But like I said, it's so, I cannot believe that those tools are only two bucks. So in case anybody's looking for one. And I was going to purchase some because there was only two left at our store just to have them. I mean, which, I mean, this one will last you a lifetime, but you couldn't beat $2, but I left them there. And my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, my um, cousin, she went and picked them up. So I thought that was funny. And like I said, just a reminder, the um, Cricut Explorer, the Cricut Explorer 1 is 137 at Walmart. And uh, the Cricut Air 2 is 197 or 187 right now. They have them marked down. So just an FYI. I was like, what's that doing? Okay, so it's done scoring. My girls are probably fixing me walking through that door. I hear the dog barking. Okay. But the poster boards at Walmart, they have tons of cute designs. The flowers, the gold dots, the gold stripes, gold glitter, silver glitter. They got a lot of cute ones. Like I said, they're $1.99. But if you go where their arts and crafts stuff is, where their paint, they're $1.19 over there. You always have to check the whole store. Let me see. Just making sure everything's going good. I think it seems to be cutting the poster board good. Um, I think it's just getting ready to go down to the second half. Yep. It's cutting out where our acetate's going to go. But I'm going to use the glue gun for everything except for where I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to hot glue this uh, box together and everything. And luckily, my hot glue gun is like wireless too. Because, like I said, I had to plug it across the room because I had to plug in my laptop. Let me see how charged my laptop is. 52. Okay, I may be able to move my glue gun over here. Because what I'm going to do when I get done with this, I'm going to move my Cricut Maker out of the way. So that way, maybe I can bring my sewing machine up here. Okay. 
So we're gonna take this off. And let me just double check that we cut out everything before I shut it down. So we got that, 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 that. We got that and that and that. That and that and that and that and that. Okay, so now let me say finished. And there we go, so now I can see my images. So let me come back over here. I'm gonna show y'all one more time what we're doing so that way y'all can see. Let me bring my laptop around here so y'all can see. While everybody's here, because I showed it at the beginning of the video, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this because now I can work off of it. Try not to bump anything. We're making these cute. So we're making this cute little box right now. This is going to be the acetate. And then uh, we're going to make the cookies inside. Let me bring it over. We're making these cute little cookies. Isn't they adorable? Okay, so I'm going to keep that open so we can see what we're doing. Let's put our box together first. Let me pick up all my chocolate chips that I threw in the floor. Okay, so let me move my maker out of the way. And I'm gonna get my hot glue gun over here. We're gonna put this back in the drawer. Y'all remind me for future videos. That's where it's at. And I'll find my lid and all that for my, here it is, for my rotary blade. And I can do all that later off camera. So let me, and my, luckily this Cricut Maker has a ginormous cord because that cord is actually plugged in across the room. So I'm actually gonna unplug that and move this to the floor. Okay. And so let's go ahead and work on this first and then we'll bring the sewing machine over. So we're just going to pull off. Let me go back over here and make sure y'all can see. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see, I haven't used the score. Not sure on what to use it for except for cards. Yes, um, if you look in the projects, there's several projects which are free. You'll see a lot of these like to make boxes and stuff like that. So it does seem like in some, this there's a spot over there that it did not cut deep enough so let's see let me go ahead and just get off what I can and I'm going to show you guys where we're at and we'll just have to snip that yeah some of the okay wait let's just minute no because that's not a score line some of these did not cut deep enough which this is not Cricut poster board I'll give them that it is regular cut poster board but there is several spots like this is another one i'll have to come back and do that okay so let me go ahead and do this i'm going to go ahead and trim this off so that way i have a smaller piece to work with so i definitely think the blade needs to go which i could have probably used my deep cut blade i wonder if that's what you would need to use i don't know my nose is i'm not gonna sugarcoat it because that did not cut deep enough but like I said oh okay so that worked there we go okay so this one let's see see there's just a few spots that it hung up on okay so it's like it did you're just gonna have to wiggle it back and forth a little so there we go so there's that one and I've got a few little pieces stragglies that I'll have to come back and kind of tear up a little bit so there we go so isn't that cute and then look what I did I tore it already that's my front okay so I'm gonna be careful I'm gonna pull this off because I don't want to do that to the next one and I did tear the box already over here look at me I'm like a hot mess it's okay it's okay luckily she's just little and she don't care okay let me move this out of the way let's go ahead I want to be careful with this one so I think I'm just gonna come on I'm gonna just trim this so I definitely next time would probably either um, use the uh, deep cut blade or something with the regular poster board because I don't that I mean there's multiple spots that we didn't get it so I'll have to compare the Cricut to this to see Cricut must be lighter poster board so we're just cutting this out I can hear my kids they're coming all right, so there we go. I'm just trimming these off. Miss Maurice? Oh, are you recording? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. We'll do this first one so I can see a score line's here. We got a score line here. And so I'm going to fold all these to the inside of the box. 
like I said, I tore it right over here, which is no big deal. Hey girls, do y'all know where my clear tape is? No way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold these ones in. So I got, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this one so it'll be ready to go. And this is gonna come down. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this down. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Y'all just be careful standing right there where you're at because I don't want to shadow it. Alright. So, and I made Halloween costumes. The girls are going to be the three blind mice. I made tutus. I got, um, let me think of what they're called for a second. Let me go grab the hot glue gun. Um, I bought dowel rods to make their canes. I wrapped it with ribbon. Let me unplug my laptop board. And then um, I got them a plain black long sleeve shirt and black leggings. And we got black slip on shoes. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna go. And I'm not one to read directions. So it seems like it would go down just like that. And then this one would come down as well like this. So I'm just gonna work on one side at a time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, let's see, I wanna make sure. I'll leave that out for a second. We're gonna go ahead and hot glue this line here. You guys can see this. So we're gonna bring that down just like that. And actually, okay, so these are gonna be inside like that. They're gonna come up against the corners here. So, we'll have it like that. So we go ahead and glue this side. Corners up. I'm gonna go ahead and I think that'll go down last. So we're gonna go ahead and take this corner right here. We'll glue on that side. We're gonna put glue on this side here. So that way it can come together like so. Yes. Okay, thank you. And then we're gonna do the other side like that. So I need to get a little glue under here under that flap. And then we're going to get this, that, so far coming together looking cute. I'll have to get a little piece of tape or something here where I tore it. So that's all right. It's our first round of this. So then I'm going to take the glue to the inside of the lid here. Hopefully you guys can see all of this. Okay. Let me double check here and make sure. Let's see. Okay. So then we're going to keep going. So we've got the same thing. So we've got to glue this flap down. Hey girls, make sure y'all stay off the internet for just a minute. We don't want to bog our people down and make it fuzzy. Okay. Then we're going to, we got one more corner here. I'm gonna get this glue here. So I'm gonna show you one more time, let's see. We're just getting some glue right here on this flap. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get glue here. There we go, there's the bottom. Is that not adorable? Super cute. So there's the bottom. Now let's work on the top. I'm gonna flip it up here so you guys can see it. Okay, so here goes the top. Let's figure this one out. I think we need to put the acetate first. Okay, and it's gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna make sure my pretties are like this. So we're gonna just glue this little guy down like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up to make sure it's where it needs to be inside the score lines and everything like that. And I'm just gonna pull it back like this. Add a little glue. All right. There we go. And we're gonna do this. Now, if you guys ever notice, I don't really, I've not talked about this in any of my videos, but if y'all ever notice that I shake a lot with everything I do, I do have MS. Um, 
we've discovered that about five years ago and um, I have my good days and I have my bad days so crafting is my escape and I get upset and I get frustrated when I try to sew something and my body shuts down because it's like seriously I just want to craft that's all I'm not asking for nothing else you know but you know I'm positive about it at first it was really hard to deal with but um, I just deal with it so if I can do it you guys can do it so okay so there's that look how cute that is with the acetate super cute all right so let me get my fold lines going all right and then we're gonna fold it fold it and let's see we got a square line here i want to make sure i'm not over Okay, we got our score line there. Then we got a score line. Why is it here? Huh? It's just behind. Okay, so there's our score line. All right, so let's go ahead and I got one more score line here. I'm gonna make sure I get it right down that score line. But I think the scoring did pretty good for you know poster board. All right, and. And we're going to bend these corners in. And I got two more corners to bend in. And then we're going to work through this. Let me double check down here. Let's see. Um, okay, so here we go. So let's finish gluing this. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the same concept. So we want to glue this down right. And then these are going to be our corners. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to stick, stick those out. Make sure your little tabs here are sticking out. We're going to go ahead and just get our glue down. And we're going to do that side. I'm going to go ahead and do this side while we're at it. So I'm making sure my little flaps are out. And I'm getting glue right down here. And we're getting all of those. And I could probably do, let me see. Let's going to see if we could do that to all these pieces first. I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure and leave all my tabs out and I'm gonna go ahead and do the ends the same way. So we're gonna do that, get that one glued down, and then we're gonna get this one glued down. I think I need to get this score line up a little. Okay, now we're gonna glue our two little tabs together. So I'm gonna put a dot of glue on the inside of each of these and on the outside of one. Well, actually, no, because, okay. Let me think here for a second. Okay, now we're gonna glue them to like one side of it. Okay. So like that. So let me show y'all again, since I probably just confused everybody. All right, make sure both my tabs are in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put, hold on. It gets a little tedious here. So we're gonna put a little glue on the inside here, a little bit of glue on the inside of this tab. Then we're gonna do it on just one side here. And what we're gonna do is, actually, I just said it again wrong. So you only want glue, let me, I'll show you on the next one. Okay, because I discovered that. We only want glue on one side of this, not on this side. So how I put a glue dot here, you only want it on one side because we're sticking the corners in there. So let me show you a little better here. Then I'll have to clean up my acetate where I've got glue strings all over it. Okay, so here we go. So this time, we're gluing them in there. So we're gonna put a glue dot here, a glue dot on top, and a glue dot on top of this one. And I'm not doing the inside. So I'm not worried about these. So I'm gonna hold that there for a minute. It's probably kind of hard to show these little corners. So we're almost done with our box, and then we're gonna move on to our super cute cookies. Let me get this last corner and I'll make sure if we got any, I got a little corner wanting to fill up on here. Okay. I think I need to bend that in more. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna do a glue dot in the corner there and a glue dot on the flap. So I'm gonna glue that one down. We're just putting a glue dot on that same flap 
and then sticking that in just like that. So now let's see how our lid fits. And so as you can see, which I could always, that's where I could put the word cookies, where I, I'll come back here in a minute and clean up the glue, so don't worry about my little glue mess there. So I'll come back here in a minute, and that's where, where I tore it here, that's where I could put the word cookies. So is that not cute? Look at that box. You could even just cut this, because you don't have to cut all the stuff. You could just cut this box out as a gift box. It's super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and do our, let's see, let's go ahead and do the word cookies real quick. I need to figure out how this is going to work because um let me see my vinyl i'm kind of confused on the wording like let me go back to my picture let me see how the picture looks for that let me go back over so the white word cookies is coming through but it's like how would i possibly keep those together so i'm gonna oh let's see what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just cut out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, because this is more confusing. Because if you sat here and tried to piece your little words cookie back together underneath this, it would be confusing. We'll just cut a small piece of uh, white. So, let me go ahead and cut this out really quick. Let me look at that picture one more time. Okay. They have theirs in the center, so we'll just have to decide whether we want to cover I'd say let's cover that up. So we're going to take, we want all of our, I guess I could weed it. So let me go ahead and take this out, outer edge off first. Like I said, this was going to be a long one. You guys, um... I'm so sorry, but we're just doing this really quick and then we're gonna go on to the cookies. Okay, so let me take my word cookies out of here. And I'll come back and add, I need to be careful here because I just ripped pieces out that I don't want out. I'm like a hot mess today, but it's okay. Thank you guys for being here with me. Okay. Let's see, stay in there, E. Okay, there we go. So there's that, let's see the S. Oh, my little piece of S is staying there. So I'm trying to make sure, okay. So there we go. So now I gotta come back to the O's. And what I'm gonna do is just kinda set that back on there a little bit. And then push those O's out. There we go. And then carefully take this back off. There we go. So there's cookies. So I'll have to use a piece of transfer to pick that cookies up. So let me go ahead and cut out a piece of that white. Whatever I did with it. There we go. I'm just going to cut out a small little piece of white to go back behind there. Like so. Making sure it's nice and small that it'll fit behind here without... I'll kind of round off making sure I stay in here. Okay, I'm going to round off just a little bit. So there we go. It doesn't matter what it looks like because it's going to be under there. Now let me get me a little piece of transfer tape. Just a little piece to make sure I pick all those up. All right. So I'm just going to roll this transfer tape back. Get this down. And I don't have my thing over here, so I'm just gonna use these to kind of pick it up. Let's see if that picked everybody up. Yep, looks good. So see, you don't have to cover that whole piece of vinyl. Then I'm going to very carefully stick this on top of this white. Probably turn it around so you guys could see it. So see, I'm just gonna stick that right on top of that white. Now we're ready to stick this on our, let me, I got a little bit of that white on the outside, let me trim it off. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick mine up here just because, like I said, I messed that up. So I'm gonna make sure everything looks good. Okay. 
Okay, let me go ahead and try to very carefully, just with my finger, now I'm just going to push on the O's and the E and the S just to make them go back on the acetate and try to peel this off. Let me, oh, I got that C. Very carefully, just holding it at an angle. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and very nicely, carefully, take this down the sides. Bring it around into the box. Let me pull that back up. Get it up against the edge. So there we go. So there is cookies. Isn't that cute? So there's that. Let me double check, make sure you guys aren't saying anything. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to the cookies. So I'm gonna go pull up my image so we can see what we're doing. So let's make the first cookie here, which looks like, um, let's see. I'm gonna do the iron on last so that way I can save it. So let's go ahead and put this one together here with the heart in the middle. So we're gonna stitch that together. So let me come back over here. So let me, since we're done with all of this, for now, move it out of the way. Let me get my sewing machine up here. I seriously, my kitchen table is covered in craft stuff right now because we've, we've been doing so much for Halloween and everything. So let me try to bring this over here a little bit so that way we can see the sewing machine. All right. So now what I need to do is plug this little guy in, which my phone should be good enough to keep going. Oh, let's see. I'm going to plug my phone for now. Boop. And I just hit y'all. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. See, the, I didn't want to do this and have to edit it down because it is so much. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we need to do is take our... Piece of cookie here. My daughter brought me a snack cake from school. Okay, so we're gonna take our cookie here. I'm gonna go around my red piece of felt with that hot glue all the way around here to get this down. Okay, I'm gonna carefully, while burning myself, get it stuck down onto my cookie. So there's that piece, number one. Now all we have to do, we can either hand stitch this all the way around or we can sew it and leave a little piece open, stuff it, and then finish it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one because it's scalloped. I think it's cute. We're going to do it with a sewing machine. So let me see if I can't swing y'all around with the sewing machine. All right. Let me see if we can figure out how to get y'all to where y'all can see this. Hold on. Let me bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so hopefully you guys can pretty much see that, right? And let me bring y'all down here. Bear with me, guys. You can see my mess that I'm just <laughs> putting everything in the floor. Okay, here we go. I think y'all can see the salt machine. All right, so let's go ahead and put this little guy. Let me see if I can reach my pedal. And if not, yeah. I'll use my pedal. I got an idea. We're gonna put the pedal because I'm up on my kitchen counter. We're gonna put the pedal on a button. So that'll work. Let me just put my pedal room. Alright. So I think I've got it. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to put this down in here. And I'm gonna drop my foot. And I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna make sure everybody's lined up nicely. You could pin this if you wanted to, but really you don't have to. So let's go ahead and get that down. And I'm going to drop my needle so we can carefully. So we're just going to go like a quarter of an inch all the way around here. So here we go. You could do a cute zigzag stitch. I've 
got like tons of decorative stitches. Okay, I'm gonna leave that much of a thing open, so I'm gonna hit fix, so that way it will, it's gonna do my back tacking for me. All right, and then let me go ahead and tell it to cut it for me. So now let's go ahead and stuff this little guy. All right, so we're just gonna take a little bit of stuffing at a time. Making sure you're going between that red and this back here. We're just gonna stuff, stuff, stuff. Make sure you guys aren't saying anything, okay? And stuff, stuff, stuff. So let's see, we're just gonna keep stuffing. That probably looks good. Maybe just a little bit more. I don't wanna overstuff it. And then, so now I can go back to the sewing machine here, put it back in. I'm gonna actually start where I left off, just kind of go back over them lines a little bit. So I'm gonna drop it, and we're gonna... And don't worry about any of uh, that cotton that's sticking out if you have a little bit, because you can just kind of pull on it when you get done. Okay, let me reverse this a little. Let me actually hit fix. Okay, now let me tell it to cut it. I think I came off just a little bit there, but there it is. Look how cute that is. So you can come back and trim your little pieces. There it is. Super cute. So there's the first one. So let's keep going. So let me go back and look at my pictures. Let's see what our next one is. Let's do... Um, and then so I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So let's do, and I don't know why, like seriously, oh, that's going to be that waffle one, the dark one. And we're going to do the iron on that one last. So let's do the heart. Let's go ahead and do the heart one. Where's that at? Here. All right. So this pink heart is going to go on top of that one. So just like this. And I'm just going to sew it on. So what actually I'm going to do, you could either hot glue around this in the inside, obviously, or you can bring it over here. Let me come back and make sure we can see. I'm just gonna take and sew all the way around. I keep having this upside down. I'm gonna sew all the way around the heart and then we'll come back and stitch on the outside. It's just talking about it. Yeah, it's probably static electricity. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop our needle. And like I said, mine stitches, but you'd want a back stitch. Just kind of going around, working your way. Hopefully you guys can kind of see this good enough. But it would be cute too to do like a little decorative stitch. But I looked up on Google, you could go to Google Images and look at all the different vegetables because you could just take the shapes on Cricut or Silhouette and create these. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm just going to, on all of these, I'm going to stitch on the outside, but you could also do it on the inside and then flip it around, whatever you want to do. But now I'm going to go through and I'm going to stitch on the outer edge, then stuff it again. So here we go. My dog's going to bark again. Okay. I gotta make sure to leave a thing open on here. Oh, I kinda got off a little bit, that's okay. I always so say <laughs> I always say it's okay, even if it's not okay. It's okay. And then let's talk to cut it. So let's go to cut. See where I kind of came in just a little bit here, but 
it's okay. I doubt she's going to notice. But this would be a cute little Christmas gift. And you would only have a couple bucks involved by the time you get all your felt. So we're just stuffing all this. My girls are back here fighting in the corner. Girls, go with that way. Don't you see us ladies are crafting here? She's a ladies. Hey, go. Go. Because they just see me talking to their, or myself, so they're like, who else are you talking about? Um, I have people here. Okay, so we're almost done, girls. We just got a few more trickies to go. Thank you for hanging out. But like I said, you could always come back. You got the concept. You could always come back and watch it later. I just wanted to do this live because I didn't want to have to edit any of this out. I mean, obviously, I wish I could edit out while I was searching for my um, stylus tool forever. Okay. I'm just finishing up, stitching all the way around. Let me hit the fix button. I'm going to talk to cut it for me. All right, look at that cute cookie. Super cute. Okay, so there's another one. Let me go double check and make sure we're not. Okay, let's see. What kind of sewing machine? I actually have the designer Topaz. I have a Husqvarna Viking um, designer Topaz. And I actually scored it on um, eBay for 100 bucks. So I used to have the uh, Topaz. I think it was either 20 or... 30 or 40, one of them. But anyways, it has an embroidery hoop that'll attach to it. But Walmart right now has one. It's just the brother one for like 45 or 55, I think. I haven't used this. Okay. So, but I absolutely love this guy because it does, it has all the cutting features and all that. But you can score these on um, eBay super cheap. And mine was like brand new. Okay, so I think it was like a return or something like those people that sell stuff like liquidators or something. Okay, so now the next cookie, let's do the... Um, Let's go ahead and do our chocolate chips. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. So I'm just going to stick them randomly everywhere. Let me make sure you guys can see me. I have to keep going back and forth between YouTube and my design space so I can see where my cookies. So I'm gonna get my little dots everywhere. Now you can either hand stitch these, you could just put a little, um, a couple threads through the middle of each one of these, or you could take it over to the sewing machine and just take your needle down a few times. So I'm just going to lay them out just like that and take it over to the sewing machine. So I'm not worried about them moving because I can put them back if I need to or move them around. So I'm just going to do one at a time. So I'm going to hit the fix button and that's all I need. So I would just hit fix and as it starts to go I'm going to tell it to cut. Then I'll go to my next one. So I'm going to bring it down. Tell it to fix, which is just doing like a little back stitch. Should you just go stitch, you know, forward and backwards? Okay, and then I'm going to tell it to cut it for me. See, these are actually doing longer little stitches than what I want to. Now, actually, you would want to use like a, a brown thread for this, but I'm just going to do it like this. So I'm just going from cookie to cookie, bring it down. Oh, cookie to cookie. Cookie to cookie to chocolate chip. From chocolate chip to chocolate chip. That was super confusing. Alright. And as it goes to take off, I just cut it. And go to another one. Shut it. But um, once you use the Husqvarna, you'll never go back to nothing else. The one I want is the Epic. If you look that thing up, I think it's like $15,000. It's insane. But it's like all electronic. Um, I played with it in the store a few times. Uh, they have the designer out too. And it's, I think you can score them as cheap as like a thousand now. Cause, and you'd say, I mean, that's expensive to me. But they were like, I think they were like $15,000 a few years ago too. So one day I'll score one seller. Okay, so here we go. And then cut it. One more to go. All right, cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to just go through and trim all these little threads here. So I'm just going to pull them up because where they cut, it just still, it just drug my little cord around. So I'm just going to go through here all these. And just trim them off. 
Okay, let me get my little big scissors. <laughs> my little ones, I don't want to try to pull them out. Because Cricut has their own little handy dandy. I bought the tool set, um, I don't know, when they had their sale. I had it, which like right now Hobby Lobby has them on sale, but I did buy it. I think it was when this, I think it was when it was released and it was part of that bundle. I can't remember, but it is handy. Because I will tell you, their little seam ripper is the best seam ripper I've ever had. So I will give Cricut that. All right, one more. I think we're almost done with our little threads here. One more. I keep saying one more and it's one more. All right, and we'll get that little guy out of the way. We're gonna come back through here. I'm not too concerned what that looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna put our two little cookie pieces together. I'm gonna start sewing all the way around. So let's see. I'm just gonna do it that. And when you're working with something like this, you wanna make sure you keep your needle down. So that way when you let go, your needle stays. Okay, let me fix that. And then we'll cut it. I may have made this hole a little bit tight. And start stuffing this in here. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And stuffing it in there. Thank you guys for staying with me and hanging out. I'm fixing to read my clothes too. I'm just trying to make sure y'all guys aren't saying nothing. Those chocolate chips are adorable. But like I said, it would be cuter too if it was. But it was been so easy to do it by hand too. Um, but since I have my sewing machine out, I had to help my cousin. She was working on her daughter's, um, Halloween costume. She did it all by hand. I think she did a really good job. And so, um, she just needed me to come back through and help her refix a few stitches. So we already had it all out and ready to go. I need to fix that. Well, I'll have to make people go back and hand you a couple of these chocolate chips. I didn't fix them good enough. All right. So there is our chocolate chip cookie. Now I will be hand sewing on whenever I get to the ones with the little, um, what you would, what do you call it? Like the little confetti pieces. I will be hand stitching those on and I'll do that towards the very end and just show a few. So that way that won't be forever. Cause I know I'm already like almost what an hour and a half or so in this video. So let me see reverse. There we go. And cut. Okay. But I figure if somebody's coming through watching this video, they could just kind of skip through if they need to. Okay, so there it is. But I'm going to come back because there's a couple of these I didn't back tack good enough. So I'll have to come fix those. But look how cute. I need to make sure you guys can see all this. Let me make sure. Let's see. The cookies are so cute. Thank you, Sonia. Um, you're welcome, Melissa. Marissa. Okay. So there is our, I'm going to make sure you guys can see this good enough. Maybe I need to come this way towards, okay, so you guys can see all my cookies. Okay, so the next cookie that we've got here is going to be a swirl. So we're going to do this chocolate swirl. So it's going to be the same concept. So we've got two swirls going on here. It's going to be the same concept. We're going to sew around this first. And the way that we're going to do this is you're going to sew all the way around this way and then do the, the whole other side as well. So we're going to do that really quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get this over here. Like I said, you can pin this. And we're gonna drop that down. I'm gonna try to stay as close to the edge as I can of that dark brown. I'm just going all the way around just to tack this in place basically. But you could also hot glue this. Now 
Now I did hot glue the red one because I don't want you to see the stitch lines of that one because that's almost like a little pie. But this one I think it just helps give it a little bit of texture, dimension if you will, with the stitch lines instead of the glue. back around now I'm gonna get this other side of the brown edging and I'm way off <laughs> but like I said before it's okay so we're just continuing to come around all right and we're going to keep going to get off track again so this one's a little bit longer than others trying to come all the way around this and I have gotten off track a few times and I really don't like the way that looks but I think I may let's see fix let me cut it let me look at it all right so see right here where I kind of came down a little bit so I'm actually gonna put this back under here just so you can have the line coming all the way around and we're gonna there we go i'm gonna fix it and cut it so there we go there is our chocolate swirl let me trim these really quick that way we can and like i said i apologize for my girls in the background but they can't help it they got to school early and they're teenagers so you're gonna, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna remember that when y'all want me to take out trick or treating later. All right. Oh, I bet you a uh, girl. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it down and we're just going all the way around the edge again. Leave it open that so we can stuff it. So. Um, and I went all the way around. Okay, hold on. Let me lift my foot up. Oh, nope. Let me cut it. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and take out a couple of these stitches here. So I guess I get to show you all the seam ripper after all. But I guess you got to give it. It's going to happen, right? All right. So let me come back up here where I'm at. And I'm just going to go ahead and see how, like, it, there's, like, no effort into this. Okay. There we go. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff this. Make sure on this side so you don't block my, you're shading my area. Sorry. It's okay. Um, it could actually help us. You could actually help us. Um, go, let's see, I need my iron plugged in because we're gonna do an iron on real quick. So grab my iron back from behind me and help me set up a little area right here so we can do our iron on. So, let me stuff a little bit more cotton in this one. Super cute. All right. And we're going down. All right. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. And we're going to come a little bit further since I had to undo the stitches in the back just to be safe and cut it. Just gonna use my fix. Okay, there we go. Super cute. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna move these cookies down here. Grab me my little handy dandy uh, ironing board that I made the other day. Oh, right. Is it underneath everything? Hold on, I brought it. I know I brought it. 
Oh, right here. Okay. So we're going to take the, the ironing board. Do you got my iron on? You get it plugged in? Go. Yeah, just unplug this one. Unplug the white one, Sass. I have so many cords plugged in. What is that black cord? Oh, the sewing machine. All right. Hold this for me. All right. So we've got our iron here. Let me. So this is the board that I did the other day. What I did is um, I went back, took, had my husband take those big staples out since they went too far into the board, and I did the thumbtack. So this is what it would look like with your thumbtacks. So, and when I did that, it's it's pretty stable now. So, so that's with the thumbtacks. So we're gonna use this to do our iron-on piece. And I don't even know. Okay, I was like, I don't even know what I did with my iron-on piece now. I say that and then I lost it. Okay, it should be a white piece, guys. A white piece. I got it. I think. Yep, got it. Where's my scissors? Right here. Once you start crafting, it's like, where is everything, guys? All right. So, and like I said, I know everybody can't stay till the end because this is super long. Let me double check, make sure y'all aren't saying anything. Um, let's see. Um, thank you so much, Marissa. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Uh, there you go, Sonia. Something to do. And this was a super long project, so we can help you with that. That's what we are here for. Now, Sonia, you're from Little Rock, right? Okay, let's see. There we go. Um, let's see. Hold on, I'm just weeding out my... I could have been doing this on camera, I guess. I'm weeding out so you guys can know what I'm doing. I'm weeding out these little squares. Now, like I said, this was supposed to be a dark brown because this is supposed to be like a waffle. Um, so it's kind of like your little burn marks. But since all my vinyl is at my sister's house, um, in which I was with her today, she just forgot to grab it. Um, I'm just using the white, like I said, for icing. So it's fine. see here and then I think we only have one more cookie to go and then I just got to add all my little um, pieces all right here we go and while I, I'm using my regular iron instead of the easy press because I'm not gonna drag that whole thing out so we're gonna see if this is gonna work okay I'm gonna do this before I stitch so let me make sure y'all can see first before I get all crazy here yeah y'all can see here so I'm gonna put my circle there I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece of iron on down and we're going to push on this and we're going to use our little board and see how it works with the iron so that'll be a test I guess but I figured since it was such a uh, small piece that we could just do this so we're just going to hold it for what I think is 30 seconds and then we'll test it and see if that kind of works so I'm giving it a little bit of pressure since it's my iron so let's see if that worked and it probably okay make sure I'm not going to burn myself there we go. So there that is. And that was with the regular iron. It does look like I probably could do this just a little bit to kind of help seal my pieces on there. All right, that'll work. All right, now we can unplug this iron so we can move it out of the way. So. All right. So here we go. And I put it on the wrong one. What's wrong with me? This should be on... Just an FYI, guys, this should actually be on the darker brown because, like I said, it's your waffle. So now we're actually going gonna, gonna to put the pink swirl on the dark brown. It's fine. Especially, well, I guess since we're not making the waffle, it's no big deal. So this will be our darker burnt cookie is what we're going to do. So the white is on top of this one. That's just going to be icing. And I'll put those little dots on it. So future reference, this actually should be on. It should be brown, and it should be on top of that one. So hopefully you guys can see all those pieces. So let me go ahead and stitch all the way around this one. This time, no, I'm not. I was gonna say I was gonna do this exact stitch, but I'm not. Okay, so, cause I need to kind of wrap this up. Let me go ahead and zoom around here without doing the whole thing. We're just going around the edges. Okay, let's 
see. Let's cut this. All right. Let's go ahead and stuff this with cotton. And we need some more cotton. Okay. So my husband was trying to call. Sorry about that. Okay, my aunt. So we're going to go ahead and finish sipping around this. Either way, it looks like a cute little pie. So I guess it worked out. So we'll just leave it as a little pie. So we're just sealing it up. All right, and cut. So we'll leave it as a cute little pie. All right, adorable. So you guys can see this little so guy. So we're just trimming off the uh, pieces of thread. So there's that one. So now we have, let me make sure you guys can see this. I think I need to bring them back down this way so you guys can see all my cookies. You can? Okay. So now we're just going to work on the swirl one, and we're just going to have it like a darker brown, which this could be like an oatmeal cookie, right? So we're going to do the same thing. But this one, to make it easier, we're going to hot glue. So we're going to try the hot glue out. So let me move my cookies again. I'm all over the place. All right, so we're going to put our cookie here. We're going to use the hot glue this time. So we're going to take the hot glue. I just want to make sure you guys can see this in frame. It's all right. It still works. So I'm just adding glue all the way around my little swirl. And I'm just going to do it in a few little spots here and there. And I'm going to burn myself in the process. And I'm going to go ahead and just start sticking this in the middle. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay this little guy around like that. And then I'll come back and start putting glue underneath. That way I just have a starting point. You know, you can see where you're working. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to pick one side up here. See, that's where I have that paper. But it's totally fine. The little tag that's on the back. So we're going to go ahead and add some more glue. Hopefully you guys can see everything I'm doing. That's shadowing, girls. I'm sorry. All right. And... going to just like that so there is that one so we're going to do that one with the hot glue so you can see so you could always just come back and double check like I think I got a piece here that I still need hot glued and get those down just like that so then this is the one that I've got to put sprinkles on I believe let's see we're going to put sprinkles on this one and on the heart. So those are the ones we need the sprinkles for. And like I said, I keep moving this way up here so y'all just can't see them. Let's see. Um, okay, here we go. So we're going to finish our last thing. So girls, I need these out of the way. So carefully, without making a huge mess. Let's try to find somewhere where we're not going to catch the house on fire without that one. And then, let me set my iron down here. Bless you. Sorry. You're okay. Not yet. Okay. So as soon as I get done with this, I got to finish a Halloween tutu. So I can come back as soon as I'm done and don't have glue all over my fingers and I can pluck these. So let's go ahead and finish stuffing this guy. All right. Make sure you guys can see all my pieces here. All right. So we're going to zoom around. We're going to zoom around this one again. So we're going to do it all the way around the edge. Oop, I had it in reverse. Lift the foot. We're just going around the whole outside edge, leaving an opening for the cotton. Let's fix that so that way it stays. And cut it. Okay. Now, let me trim that. Just that's not in our way. Okay. Get our cotton. Okay. That may be why I'm kind of confused with my where we're at. 
my camera looks like it was super crooked. All right, well, we're almost done here, girls. So we are making, this is the, once again, let me tell you what, the, what this is called. This is the felt cookie playset, and it's in design space, Cricut design space, and it's free. And you can cut felt out with your regular Cricut, um, Cricut Air and stuff like that. You just have to have the bonded fabric, I believe. You just gotta bond the back of it and use your bonded fabric thing. So, but as you can see with the, the maker, it is super easy with that rotary blade. All right, there we go. Now, same thing with the silhouette. Um, I am gonna try to see how we can bring this design in there so we can have a design like this in there. Silhouette. So I have to go to my sisters and get that discovered. Okay, so we got it back under here. We got it stuffed. We're gonna go all the way around again to seal it up. And let me back it up. There we go, and cut. So there is our, let's say, oatmeal cookie. There we go, we are almost done. So let's see. Um, back over here, I'm just making sure I can see you guys. So, we're on our last piece. So, let me go ahead and get all my little pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and move my sewing machine out of the way because we no longer need it. So, I'm gonna shut it down. And we're going to move it back. All right, so I can get everybody in here. And let me get this bit where you guys can see a little better now. So, sorry guys, we're going for a ride. So, we're gonna come back over here so we can see our cookies. All right. So, now, what we're going to do is we got all our little cookies here. We're gonna take these little beads and we're gonna create our little um, confetti on top. And I should have opened this before we started the video, but I did not. And I went, like I said, I got these at Hobby Lobby today. I'll show you again. Uh, they are 50% off, so they're $2 a thing. This is a pretty big container. I really try to find a small one because I'll probably never use these again. All right, my daughter's over here saying, I will. Okay, so it looks like this, and it's by Beaded Treasures. And like I said, they're originally $3.99, but they're half off right now, so they're two bucks. So hopefully you guys can kind of pick up the colors on those. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, here we go. So I've got my needle and thread. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a few out here on my mat, like that. And we're gonna take our needle and thread. There we go. And I'm just gonna cut me a piece of thread here and get it um, get it on my needle. Now I probably would want to use a little bit of a thinner needle than this, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna get this. I'm just getting it threaded up really quick. Okay. And it's cute. These cookies are super adorable. And then I'm going to show you what I put them in the box. Just in case you weren't here before and you didn't get to see the box, this is what the box looks like. And it has its acetate. I just got to come in here and clean my um, glue gun, glue off the top of the acetate. And that's it. But we cut out and it's got the cute little cookies. We need to put a little piece of ribbon on here. But this is the box. So, like, these cookies are done. They could go ahead and go in the box. And but we're doing that one. We can put our. I'm gonna fix this guy first, so we've got those. So that way we can have our little box of cookies, so you guys can see those. Okay, here we go. So we got our needle and thread all threaded up. All right, hold on. My bottom of my thread has got to be. All right, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take. And I'm going to just find a spot. So I'm going to kind of come down through here and then come right back up. Pushing through there. Just to kind of get this started. And we're going to take us a bead and put it on our needle and drop it down. So then I'm just going to come back through the felt and bring this around so it kind of holds on there securely we can trim those threads up here in a minute so I'm gonna go back down somewhere let's see I'm gonna go kind of close by but I'm gonna try to come over here further away so I'm gonna try to come up over here hold on I gotta push 
This felt is kind of harder. I think it's where I hot glued it. So I came further away, that way you can't see my thread underneath. So you wanna do it from the underneath. I'm gonna pick up another little bead here and we'll drop it down and then we'll go somewhere else. So we're going to go close by. So you wanna go down close by where you're at. Hold on. Go down close by where you're at and come out somewhere else further away. So, and I'm gonna pick up another bead and we're just gonna keep doing that. I'm like, where'd my bead go? Drop that bead down there. Coming down close by. Coming up. And then we're going to pick up another one. I just thought these colors were cute, but there's tons of different colors down there. Okay, and then I probably did two of those way too close together. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come back up over here on the pink again. And we're gonna pick up another one. Okay, we're gonna drop that down. And like I said, come down close to it. That way it's, you're not dragging your thread all the way across it, if that makes sense. So let me bring this back up here. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. This is just a thread out there. All right, and then let's pick up another color. Let's do, I have some longer ones here. So we're gonna come back down. Now let me let y'all guys see what's going on here. Let me see if we can't bring this up a little bit. I'm just bringing it down really close. And I'm gonna go ahead and come back up over here. That way it's underground and you can't see anything. And then we're just gonna pick up another one. So that way they look like sprinkles. There's my word, sprinkles. Okay, come back up. And look at us making cookies on Halloween. Okay, this bead is, okay, nope, it went down. I thought it wasn't gonna fit. All right. And then we're gonna come back down. You're just wanting them to be really random. I wanna take this close by and we'll come back up over here in the center. So you just really want these to be random. That way it looks like real little sprinkles just floating around. So that's all we're gonna do. So that's all that I'm gonna do to finish up these little guys. So I'm just gonna kinda zoom through here a little bit and finish at least this one off. Then we'll wrap it up so that way I can get it in the image so that way when I go back I can pick this out of there. So screenshot it for my main picture. All right, so we're gonna come back up. We're going to keep going. We're gonna come back down, come back up. And pick it up. Hopefully you guys are being able to see this. So like I said, there we go. So we're just in random little areas. And I may have to do a whole nother string too because I don't know if this string will take me all the way through. And there we go. And then we're going to come back down. I think I'm going to try to zoom over here a little bit. And I know I'm probably getting off camera like a million times. So, just kind of getting that on there. And let me come back down and come up over here. I probably should have spread these out just a little bit more. All right, come back up over here. And we are almost done with this guy. All right, let's come back down. I'm gonna try to put one right here on this pink. Let me see if I can't pick it up. Okay. And then I seen they have a sugar cookie one too that's on there and I just looked at the cookie and it came up. So I need to go see what that one is and maybe create some of those. But I wanna do, I seen eggs and bacon, stuff like that. Those are cute. So I'm going in. I'm gonna come back up over here. 
But I think I'm pretty much done with this one, so maybe doing this last bead right here will be good. Let me do one more. I'll do a bigger bead. And then we'll come back down and around right here. Maybe we'll end it with this yellow one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to tie this off, so hopefully we can see everything, I'm going to come back down close by, and I'm gonna come right back up in that same area. Maybe. So there we go, and I'm just gonna do that a few times and just kind of stitch this off. And let me kind of come back through that thread hole just to kind of tie that off. And then what I'm gonna do is cut this. I'll spread these pieces of thread apart here and tie it in a knot. Probably tie it in a knot twice just to kind of secure it. All right, work with me, hands. All right, there we, there we go. And I'm gonna also put some on the, the heart, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because I mean, I've already drove this two hours. So there we go. Girls, do we have any white uh, ribbon? Oh, no. any, what color ribbons do I have? Okay, and then I do need to tack this one, but so we can kind of see here. Let me go ahead and, huh? Oh, no. I have that orange one. All right, I'm gonna do, we're gonna line these up now. So we want to make them where they're really cute in here. Maybe do, I want to do this this red heart one in the front. Somehow like that. Something like that. Then you got your lid for your cookies. And then let me see if I can't get my ribbon. Um, I have, this one would be cute maybe. This is the same ribbon that I used on my girls' this thing. Let me see if this would be okay. Let me see if I can create a bow out of this somehow to do just a little cute bow right here. So what I'm gonna do to create my bow, just something like this maybe. So I'm gonna do something kind of like this and kind of put it down like this and just hot glue it. So will somebody, hey, plug my hot glue in over in that corner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a needle and thread for that. So I'm just gonna take my needle and thread. Yeah, I forgot to device just some regular white ribbon for this. I mean, the orange might be cute too, but let me go ahead, let me see if I can grab my orange. Or we could do this orange right here. I just think that orange contrast may be a little bit too much, but I think it'd be cute anyways, I guess, for her. So let's see, let's go ahead and do something like, like this maybe. Just put it right on top, that'll work, we'll do this. So all you're doing is you're just kind of crisscrossing your little lines right here. And I'm going to cut this right about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna come right in the center here just to hold these together for me. And then I'm gonna tie off the ends of my thread. Okay, let me make sure we got, okay, let's see. Mm, let's see. Ah, what a little I'm glad you're gonna make these. Those will be, it'll be, it's, it was super fun. Um, happy Halloween, Stephanie, thank you so much. And I am so sorry that it's been on so long, but I thought it was a fun project to share. And like I said, I would have had to cut a lot of stuff out to be able to upload this, because with the software I have, it makes me cut it down to like 14, 15 minutes, and that's why so many times I get comments and it's like, I can't tell what you're doing. So like I said, there's a lot of stuff that probably could be cut out, but hey, at least you guys were here with me and we had fun, right? Because you guys are more than welcome to walk off and go get some popcorn and or make some some project with me while I'm doing this. So, and like I said, this is going to my niece. Um, she has type 1 diabetes. 
So she's not gonna be eating any candy today. So I thought her little dolls could probably use some felt cookies, right? Cause she absolutely loves play food. So I thought it would be really sweet to bring her her own stuff. So I'm gonna try to make a few more things before I go. I think I'm even gonna try to make her a little bag to put all this in. So that way she can have like a little shopping bag. Like if she went to a bakery. So, which it's already got its cute little box, but still. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this off. So I just kind of went around uh, the bow and kind of stitched like um, zig, you know, in and out and then just wrap my thing around there to make that bow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this one off just a little bit more. I'm gonna fold these in half here and just kind of corner that and corner this one. There we go, cute. Now I'm just going to hot glue that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a piece of, maybe I could take a piece of this one. So I'm gonna take a little piece of this one to kind of go in the center and I'm just gonna hot glue this and hot glue the whole thing down, just like that. So let me go put a dollop of glue on this really quick. Of course I got my glue gun in the corner. As soon as I get done with this, girls, you guys can um, plug this again. And let me put a little glue on the back. Oh. What? This is it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already got my glue on the back, so I'm just trimming off this little extra piece. And I've already got it ready to go, which, of course, I had to. I'm going to have to go. Let me add a little bit of hot glue on this bow right here because I cut it just a little bit. All right, and we're just gonna tuck that up there. So there we go, so there's our cute little bow. So all I have to do, like I said before, is come back and get this acetate off here, the acetate. Get the hot glue off the acetate. So there is our box of cookies that took us now, if I wasn't sitting here talking to you guys, we probably had a little more. It took us an hour and 17 minutes to complete this project. <laughs> so, but like I said, if I wasn't sitting here, if I was more prepared, I probably wouldn't took us so long. But here they are. You got all your cute little cookies, your red heartfelt one. You got your pink one. You got the little chocolate chips. I got to come back and adjust some of these. We got our cute little sprinkles. Let me trim this. We got a cute little sprinkle one, and we got our little pie, and then we got a little round, round swirly one. And like I said, the box, this is actually poster board from Hobby Lobby, and so you could actually, I have enough that I actually probably could make another one. So I still have enough strip to make another one. So let's go ahead and stack these back in here, and then I'll come back and fix that cute little, so I can take a little screenshot. Something like that. That way when I come through, I can take a screenshot of this and put it as a picture. Cute. Move back. Let me step back so that way we can make sure. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's see, she is going to love them. Yes, I think so too, Guadalupe, thank you. Um, and thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I really do appreciate it, Guadalupe. You're always here. Um, all of you girls are always here. I really, really appreciate it. And I thank you all for hanging out. Like I said, it was an hour and 17 minutes, and you guys stuck through with me. So anytime that I take, if it's going to be a long video like this, feel free to get up and, and, and do about, because you guys can always come back and rewatch. But I truly do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. So I hope you guys have an awesome, happy Halloween. Be safe. Um, enjoy all the cute little trick-or-treaters. And I will see you guys on the next one.